In this video, we're gonna analyze the incomparable Rochelle Farrell. You know she's gonna be good. Honestly don't think she needs much of an introduction. She is a vocalist's vocalist, if you will, you know. So by request, we're gonna analyze Rochelle Farrell singing I Can't Explain. Let's go. I come to you. She already doing a whole bunch and I love it. She said, I come to you. So she was breathy. She was scrunched in her articulation. So it's you, it wasn't you, you. So it's almost a flex, a scrunch in the face and an intentional breathiness in her voice. She intentionally let air pass through her glottis. So by result of letting air pass through the glottis, it was that breathy note. So after that, she said, with a head. So she let her larynx drop with her head. Her larynx did drop and she almost did a breathy glissando or a glissando with the breath versus the note. And the glissando had pitch in it, but it was a breathy with her head. And that throw and that glissando on the head of heavy, it shows heaviness. That's what I was talking about before with contextual texture. We're understanding how the text is painted. She's literally painting the text of her voice. <sighs> That's a heavy sound that she just produced. So let's keep going. Don't so she said don't instead of don't, don't. Instead of don't. Down, so it was very wide and spread, but it was still don't. It was still the word don't. That's vowel modification, articulatory modification right there, okay? Where to start? Moving her articulators with the acoustics of the sound, okay? I said that. There was a little distortion right there. It's almost like a little vocal fry. Vocal fry is kind of what you hear when you hear stuff like this, kind of going down there. That's vocal fry. So she kind of did, da, and I can't even do it that well, but she kind of lets a vocal fry enter into her vocal presentation. It kind of gives some distortion in there, okay? That was really good. Vocal fry is not a bad thing. Vocal fry is not a bad thing, I promise. It's really okay to do, okay? Let's keep going. No. And articulation right there. What Loving me like you do. You do. Some more of that. So you do, do. Like you do. More of that. Do. Don't care. That don't. She went from registration to registration. She went from chest voice to kind of more of a head was chest head. Don't care. You hear that? Okay. It was a little contrast. So it was a little more thicker down and then she's a little more thinner up top. Okay. So that's all that was right there. Okay. Let's keep going. But we both More migration in the articulation right there. Seven lovely baby. Not like you do. Ah. Can ah. More vocal fry. A little glissando in there. Vocal fry. That was good. That's she has a ton of breath control, vocal control. It's a ton of it. Why caused you pain? <laughs> Let me tell you why, baby. 
baby. So she kind of made that vowel a little bit longer. Baby, instead of baby, baby. And she dropped her larynx a little bit. Baby. It was kind of more taller in here too. More space in the back of the jaw. Almost like a nutcracker jaw. Yeah, really good. Why I made you cry? Oh, you hurt me. She uses her jaw so much, but she's playing with the acoustics of sound. And I don't know if she knows she's doing that, but she's playing with how she shapes her sound. So, uh, uh, all that kind of stuff. It is making her sound have so many contextual layers and just given texture in her voice. And all she's doing is changing how she's shaping everything here. And as a result, she's making so many different sounds. Now, she's also very gifted. For real, this is not easy to do. She's very gifted in what she's doing. So, it's really good stuff. Like no one else before you. Before you. said before, before you. Okay. So you notice during that phrase, she was a little more softer in her approach, in her articulation, and her voice. She was breathy, she was small in sound, and her articulation was much more soft in approach versus like, like you do, like you do. Okay, so it's small, it's a little breathy, it's soft in every way, it's very soft, it's very piano if you wanna call it that, okay? Like you do. Like you do an aspirin onset, like you do. Now you wanted me. Those are glottal onsets. Those are not bad to do. Those are glottal onsets right in there. And what she did was rearticulate that all, all, all. But it was almost had an R color to it. R, 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 R. Instead of all, 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 all. R, 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 R. To yourself. Instead of all, 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 all. So the vowel was a little more round, a little more long. And she articulated that glottal onset and her head voice, okay? I always tell my clients, if you wanna sing more strongly in your head voice, don't be afraid of glottal onsets in your head voice. A glottal onset is really just any time you have, for instance, a word that starts with a vowel. So if you say the word elephant, say elephant, say eagle, say apple. So those words don't have a consonant in front of it. So apple is A-P-P-L-E. Ah is the glottal onset, the, the onset of the word, the onset of phonation. Phonation means when the vocal force vibrate to make a sound. So at the onset of sound is a glottal onset in that instance. Apple, orange, eagle. It's not a bad thing to do. People have such a negative connotation towards glottal onsets, but in my opinion, glottal onsets get the vocal folds vibrating thickly more quickly, and it will help your voice be more full at the onset of the sound versus trying to be more aspirate and soft. The aspirate and softness will give a little more breathiness to your voice, and sometimes you don't want that. You want to kind of just be strong from the get-go. So those kind of exercises all, you know, Apple will help you get the vocal folds closed more quickly, have you more of a fuller sound without trying too much, okay? So let's keep going. But I just found out You've got somebody <laughs> I had to wait till the whole phrase was done. I couldn't interrupt that phrase. So that, ah, so she did a slide. I won't say, ah, oh, probably a half step slide. So, ah, oh, ah. Oh. 
So while the half step slide was happening, she was also moving her lips to play with the presentation of sound of the acoustics. Ah! And then ah! she went up there and held that and then went down to her chest voice towards the end of that phrase. Um, that's why it kind of got thicker towards the bottom. She kind of went down and went to her chest voice down there. She has top-notch vocal stamina, top-notch vocal technique, top-notch vocal gifting. Like, something she does is not common to man. She's in another stratosphere. But she also gives her all every time she performs. She kind of just lets it all hang out. And I think a lot of singers get so scared of themselves to let it all hang out because of what if I mess up? What if I do this? What if I do that? But on the other side of fear is more artistry, in my opinion. On the other side of nervousness is more things to discuss about your voice and about your art and so she has made it a point to not leave anything to change she puts everything out there and she's also practiced as well this is a technique that she has developed and that she is gifted to do and so these are some great things to kind of play with you know another person who plays with her acoustics really well is Leandria Johnson if you notice she grinds and kind of plays with her vowel shapings on longer notes she does some Rochelle for real acrobatics sometimes on a different level on a different Different type of stuff you know but I mean Rochelle she cold she is cold like you like you lower lyrics came up I can explain can explain I can explain she held the tip of her tongue in her teeth so it was another form of a nasal consonant combination if you will instead of I can explain she had the tip of her tongue you can see it the tip of her tongue was out I can explain she went down with her larynx moving around and kind of went low in the larynx open jaw as she came out of that phrase really good why I caused you pain let me tell you squall in there I made you made I made you she had a little squall in there that was good no squall and vocal fry came back out of it still a head voice more squall you hurt me baby yes you did Soft, back easy, intimate. No one sings you the end consonant. No one shall allow me like you do. Like you do. Articulatory modification. Went, no, 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 no one. 
So she came from head, 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 chest, 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 went down. Her range is ridiculous. Her range is like this. I can't even put into words and put into hand movements how wide her range is. And that requires a lot of control, the way she manipulates and kind of goes through her range and kind of does stuff like that. It takes a lot of control and a lot of thinking power too. And not just physical control, but a lot of how to maneuver, what should I do, listening to the music, understanding how the music goes, how the quarter structure goes, and applying that to what she's doing here. She's meeting this. She's putting those two together. Singing is such a mental thing, it's not even funny. People always say, yeah, I wanna sing higher. I wanna belt, I wanna do this. I always say, change your thinking. Before you walk into my studio, before you try to do stuff, change the way you think about your voice because that will help you change your technique. If you are stuck on, I'm nervous, I don't wanna sing high, I'm scared, whatever. If you keep thinking that, you're not gonna achieve anything here. So you have to change your thinking in order to change your voice. But also be okay with what you have. There's a fine line between changing and not being okay with or kind of improving and not liking okay so be careful with that that's another sidebar I'm be quiet keep going Nobody. Head voice, a chest voice. I just wanna say yes, I, I She placed that sound right here. It was right on in here. Head voice, but it was almost like a she been into that. So she was right in here, bent into that thing. Yeah, that was good. more kind of scrunchy into the vowels do instead of do do I know that's right that was amazing she has a gift and a technique that is unmatched literally unmatched can't nobody sing like her for real for real um she is so gifted in what she does and i appreciate the fact that she lets it all hang out she don't leave nothing to chance and that's what a lot of singers i think need to understand including myself i'm gonna call myself out be okay with letting it all hang out to me that's when the magic happens when you practice you've done what you can do now it's part of having fun and taking chances taking risks who knows what could happen when you take a risk it could be some wonderful things on the other side of that risk just take it go for it if you mess up you're gonna be fine you laugh a little keep it moving it's called being a human you're okay if you mess up but take that risk like she do she takes risks she goes for it i love that about her now you know what to do click subscribe and click the alert button next to it so you know when the next video is posted remember to always be vocally bold creative and aware but most of all above everything you do be vocally you all right y'all until next time